Now, former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Gordon Emefile, will remain in Koje Correctional Center as he's yet to meet his bail conditions. Mr. Emefile appeared before the FCT High Court today as the court examined and cross-examined witnesses and adjourned his trial to the 18th of January, 2024. TVC News' Helen Osamada Akins has more. Mr. Emefiele was put on trial by the federal government through the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on six counts bordering on alleged breach of procurement procedure in the award of the contract to April 1616 Investment Limited. At the opening of the trial, the first prosecution witness admitted that Mr. Emefiele was not the owner or a shareholder at the April 1616 Investment Limited awarded the 1.2 billion naira vehicle supply contract by CBN under Mr. Emefiele's leadership of the Apex Bank. The witness, Samsudin Romanus, a top official of the Corporate Affairs Commission, gave evidence on how the company was incorporated on the 1st of August 2016 and tendered several documents on how the company was floated. The second witness, Remigius Ugu, a compliance officer with Zenith Bank PLC told the court how various sums of money in millions of Naira were paid by the CBN into the April 1616 Investment Limited. He admitted that none of the payments has any link with Emefiele's name and that he does not know the purpose for the payments. The third witness, Oluwole Oweye, a deputy director banking services with the CBN and former secretary to major contract tendering committee of the CBN said his committee was responsible for ensuring compliance with the Procurement Act. Mr. Oweye, however, informed the court that his committee was not involved in the vetting of bids for the award of contracts that led to the prosecution of Emefiele. The witness explained that another committee handled the bidding because it was above the threshold of his committee.